So, Steve Likes the Curse asks a question. If anyone can explain how Lady Gaga's music isn't fucking terrible. I'm not going to get into the whole quantifying taste thing, because that's kind of a fool's errand, I believe, but... I don't know, I gotta ask if there's, like, one song in particular, maybe two, that you've heard that just kind of rub you the wrong way, that irritates you or something like that. Or maybe it just so happens that every Lady Gaga, maybe maybe you've heard, like, five Lady Gaga songs and they just all happen to be annoying to you. I don't know. I don't, whoa, I don't know what the case is, but I'm curious. Because, I mean, to answer the question... Like, at least subjectively for myself, why why it is that Lady Gaga isn't terrible for me is because, well, unknowingly, I ended up dancing to her. You know, I'm just sitting there at a bar, and I don't drink, mind you, so I'm not drunk. I don't have that fucking excuse, but I'm fucking sitting there getting down, and this is after, like, a year and a half worth of talking shit on the poor girl. I'm just fucking, fuck yeah, this song is actually not bad. It was Lady Gaga. It, it, it was it was Lady Gaga, and so my friends are like, dude, that's the Gaga, and I'm just like, oh. Well, I mean, after that, you can't be all like, oh, mm, mm. no. Lady Gaga, fucking fuck Lady Gaga, fuck pop music. I don't really listen to pop music, not my cup of tea. I, I, I grew up listening to, like, I don't know, fucking gutter mouth and ranted and fucking deicide, even. But... Lady Gaga, you know, not really in my avenue, not really in my vein of, of, of selective taste, but it turns out, I know I like her because I dance, you can't, you know, you feel driven to move your body to a certain type of music, you can't lie, you know, I've heard people say, oh no, it's just catchy, but it's still an awful, awful song, man, I hate how absolutely catchy this song is, I despise the fact that it's making me want to dance, I've actually met people who do that. Really interesting types. Really interesting types. So, I mean, you you asked a pretty polite question, and I understand you don't like Gaga. That's perfectly fine. The only thing I found offensive, Steve, is that you put it on your five stupid things list. Really? Like, Lady Gaga deserves to be on the stupid things list? Like, I imagine that if she got, you know, caught doing something stupid, that makes sense, but... She just makes music? Does she really deserve to be on the five stupid things list? I don't know, maybe it's your list, you make you do you do what you want. With it. But I mean, um, as long as you pose the question, I've I've got one that maybe you can help me out with when it comes to uh pro wrestling. Like why? Why pro wrestling? How is it anything more than just greased up underwear modeling, choreographed man on man touching where there is a pretentious, dramatic competition, where the fashion or where the where the the uh, the, the prizes, the awards given out are fashion accessories. How is how is pro wrestling anything more than latent homosexual eroticism? Can you explain that? Because that's something I'm genuinely curious about. 